Hunt and Maryland, the Terrapins, they played Penn State, won in Penn State, obviously a historic win in the first year in the Big Ten, but there was a little dust up before the game started, as we saw. And it, at, at the coin flip, Maryland refused to shake hands with Penn State. That led to uh, $10,000 worth of fines from Maryland because of a scuffle in the pregame. Stefan Diggs suspended for a game, which really, really hurts them. But is this a sign of a rivalry that's brewing between these two teams? Dan, what do you think about oh, that? Oh, yeah, for sure. I mean, <laughs> First of all, like I, for lots of Maryland fans, this already was a rivalry. I think probably Maryland fans who are like 40 or 50s or 60s, but there are Maryland fans who this game meant an awful lot to. Probably yeah. to a lot of Penn State fans, this didn't mean, mean very much. But mm -hmm. I think the next time they play, it'll probably mean a bit more to Penn State for a lot of these reasons. And I'm not saying that it was a classy move, and certainly you don't want to do anything <laughs> that results in your best player gets, getting suspended. That's, I yeah. mean, that's actually kind of a serious It is issue. a selfish move, yes. But, um, but for whatever, I mean... For all that happened, the next time they play, it'll be a bigger deal. And if Maryland can win two times in a row or three times in a row, certainly I think this has a potential to be a rivalry. And Maryland football has needed a rival for a long time. I don't know. Maryland, Virginia just never really elicited that many passions among local fans. I think Maryland, Penn State has a chance to be really special. And with the stuff that the coaches have been sort of saying about each other, too, there's a lot going on here right now. Scott, you don't feel this was kind of manufactured at the beginning to kind of force the rivalry? Or do you think it's a natural thing with these two teams being border schools? Well, I think a lot of people will point to Maryland's all-time record against Penn State, 235-1 yeah. and one now, and say, well, for it to be a rivalry, it needs to be a little bit more even. Well, in recent history, it's Maryland 1, Penn State 0. Yeah. So I think, yeah, whether or not it was manufactured, whether or not Randy Edsel knew about that, like Dan said, kind of the... The, the way that Edsel and James Franklin are in terms of uh, riling the other one up, mm -hmm. I thought it was kind of a, a petulant, stupid thing for Maryland to do in terms of the handshake. I'd have a lot less problem with, say, running up the score if, yeah. if Maryland was able to run up the score. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think the next time they meet, I mean, the coaches are going to be talking beforehand, and it's, it's going to be heated, despite the fact that neither team is really nationally, re nationally relevant uh, next season. Was, is it, Neil, is this going to be a game that's going to be circled on both teams' calendars coming oh, without, up because of this? Without a doubt. I mean, it's the they're one and zero in the Big Ten rivalry right now. I mean, that's that's what sparks rivalries. Maybe it's not a you know maybe the only the two wins in the past whatever games doesn't make it a, a rivalry. But now for the Big Ten for right now, yeah, it's going to be a rivalry. And let's also say that. I mean, I think it's kind of hilarious, the handshake thing, honestly. There have been so many NBA <laughs> games, like NBA playoff series that have ended and players have gone straight to the locker room without really? shaking hands. Yeah. That becomes a big national story, too. But yeah. it's not like... Where would this rank on the power ranking of handshake? I mean, it's not like they slugs. went around, like, stomping on the other guy's heads or whatever. Do you know what I mean? It's, yeah. like, certainly not in the definition of good sportsmanship, but it's not, it's not exactly a capital just, crime either. I think it's a little bit different not going to seek out somebody for a handshake and the, standing with their hands. Well, standing their hands. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hanging. I mean, I don't disagree with you, but like we saw NASCAR guys like literally punching each other in the head. This was like a little bit less severe than <laughs> so that. You're saying if they me. shook hands, that wouldn't have happened. <laughs> I just think it's kind of more uh, like obviously it's more symbolic than you know the scuffle things maybe a little bit different, but I think it's kind of funny. I think it's funny. Well, Maryland, yeah. I mean, they're looking for a rival in the Big Ten. I mean, this seems to be the most natural, and whether or not it's manufactured or not, we're gonna next year we'll be talking about this game going leading up to it. We'll be all talking about. Remember what happened last year? What's gonna happen this year? Everyone's gonna be watching it. We're talking about Maryland football. We haven't been doing that in the past, so right. I guess they're, they're on the radar. I and guess what's that's the next closest thing. Big Ten school is Rutgers. I guess yeah, it's hard to imagine getting super fired up for yeah, Maryland Rutgers <laughs> for a lot of reasons. Yeah. That's right.